Welcome back here on 93.7 KKRL. Uh, Bruce Detterman, the head girls basketball coach for Glidden Ralston, joining us here tonight. And coach, uh, a loss here tonight to Peyton Trinan as you guys uh, fall by 20 tonight. Uh, kind of a slow start. Uh, you and I kind of talked before the game tonight about not a lot of practice time over the holiday break. And you can kind of tell that here tonight, especially in that first half. Well, yeah. <laughs> the first half was like our feet were in cement. It just, that was, that was honestly, that was the worst game of the season. I was going to say, things just didn't go right from the start. Where did you, uh, early foul trouble too didn't help you. Julia Fleece there going to the bench when you guys were down eight there in the second quarter. Didn't help matters tonight. No, that doesn't help us. That's, that's kind of been the story of our season here in the last three or four games. Our top scorers get into foul trouble. And then we get into you know, second and third level. And they do a good job when they come in. And But we don't have a lot of scoring after that. Uh, yeah, this, <laughs> I don't even know. There's not a whole lot to say about tonight. It was... Uh, it was not a good night. Coach, uh, you did start that second quarter with most of the reserves on the floor. Uh, was that to just try and kind of let the starters see the action and send a little bit of a message because of the, maybe the lack of energy there in that first quarter? That yeah, was to wake them up, yeah. Yeah, they, I got them all out of there because they were, none of them seemed like they were awake and ready to go. In the locker room, I would, you know, they were a little nervous, but honestly, first game back, one and five record, playing, playing a good team. You expect a little bit of that, but they came out and it was it was first game jitters all over again, and just it had to wake them up. Yeah, had to shock them up. Coach, not having school today either. Uh, kids not in a routine. I hear coaches talk about that all the time. Yeah, I, I didn't ask, them, uh, but I'm sure most of them didn't get out of bed real early this morning. <laughs> I know if I'd had the option, I probably wouldn't have either. Uh, especially at that age, I know I wouldn't. Have. Uh, but we'll, we got to come back and get it. They're, they're a much better team than this. I asked them to walk them and they thought they were 20 points worse than the team they just played and none of them felt like they were. Tonight, obviously, they were. Peyton Shane's got a good little team there. Uh, a couple of a few really nice players, a couple of good ball handlers, a couple of good shooters. And they just came out and they, they played harder than we did. At times, your pressure did seem to create some turnovers for you and that's something that this team really kind of needs to get that offense going. Yeah, yeah. We, that was one of the things we talked about downstairs. We have to create our offense out of our defense because our half-court offense right now isn't isn't where we want it to be. We're, we're not very good at creating a shot, and a lot of times we're not confident to take the shot when it's there. And how do you work on that as a coach? How do you get kids that are a little tentative to take that shot to feel that they can take that shot and shoot it with some confidence because that's a huge part of shooting the ball? Yeah, shooting with confidence. You know, <laughs> Honestly, I've been working on it all season. <laughs> I've got two girls that are absolutely supremely confident in themselves shooting and scoring. Um, and a couple others that are really working on it right now that want to be, that just they're not quite there. Coach, uh, positives in the second half. Uh, what did you see tonight? Uh, positives. We started playing a little bit better defense. Um, we did execute our 1 3 1 trap a little bit. Or pretty good tonight. And honestly, that's the first time we've put it in. We've never used it in game situation yet, and I thought it went went pretty well. Um, scoring wise, we still didn't get anything done. We still fouled way too much, uh, and we can't do that. We have to be able to be on the floor. To, the scores have to be on the floor. To win. Absolutely. Well, coach, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. We wish you the best of luck, and we'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. Head coach Bruce Detterman again with the Glen Ralston Wildcats. They fall tonight again to, to Peyton Shanahan, 55 to 35. We'll